What's going on everyone? Get after my 974 back again today doing another viewer requested hammer tutorial this time around. Raffard, thank you very much for the suggestion. Who wants to know how to make a hunter chopper helicopter style bombing sequence as seen in Half-Life 2? Specifically D1 Canals 09, that's the map where you have the hunter chopper dropping bombs on you and then if you go too far away it starts shooting at you. So setup wise again it's completely arbitrary so you just put the entities that's needed wherever you want to. So we've got the hunter chopper here or NPC helicopter as it's referred to in the game files. I've called it heli and I've set it to start at path track number two called helipath two. So, and um, there's no other settings that you need other than the flags. Just make sure fall to ground is checked only. And um, you can have any of the other flags checked if you want to, however you see fit, but D1 Canals 09, this is the way it's done. Screen up the audio already, that's a good sign. And brush entity wise, you can use what I've got here, which is an NPC heli avoid box, which defines a volume that the hunter chopper cannot go in, basically. And in the flags, you can check the box that says make sure that the hunter chopper cannot go above or below where the box is and you can also use a point entity called npc heli avoid sphere which defines a radius uh, which the hunter chopper can also not go into so for instance with this boat here i've got a radius around the boat which says the hunter chopper cannot go anywhere in this area so it's not going to clip through any part of the boat that it's not supposed to go through and I've got an airboat, a player and a pretty simple map setup and so here's the path tracks for example and yeah you can just tell there's just nothing to it it's just bare basic stuff so what's critical are outputs from something like a logic auto right here and what we want to say is on map spawn heli start breakable movement start patrol start bombing vehicle and activate now start breakable movement means that if you have a path track and you have an output on that path track for example to tell the helicopter to fly to a specific path track then if the player is spotted then that command can be overridden so the hunter chopper can still be focusing on the player and attacking them so that's what start breakable movement does. Start patrol means it's just going to go back and forth along the path that you define um, until it spots the player, presumably. But the interesting one and the critical one is start bombing vehicle. What this does is it sets the hunter chopper up in such a way that it prioritizes dropping bombs on the player in an airboat. So as I said earlier, if the player is close to the hunter chopper, it starts dropping bombs. If the player gets too far away, it starts firing at you. However, there's another input here that you can use, which is start always leading vehicle, which is where it always drops bombs. It never fires the gun. So for bomb dropping purposes, it's either one of these two that you want to use. So in this case, let's go for start bombing vehicle and then activate. It's just self-explanatory. I guess it enables the hunter chopper immediately. So if I was to save and compile this map and just drive around in the airboat, then hopefully you can see what's going on. The hunter chopper fires if I'm too far away and then drops bombs along the path that I've created. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you find this helpful. Let me know what you think and if you have any other suggestions for videos, it all helps. Going back to my roots with this, doing a pretty short and sweet tutorial, so I'm not going to leave you and you know keep this video going on any longer than it needs to so thank you for watching take care out right there and see you next time